everyone. So I'm at the hotel. Just wanted to give you a little tour. There's the room with the bed. Then over here is a little desk. I have a small window here. A little fridge with some little goodies, which I probably won't have. Um, here's the bathroom. It's nice. The little shower with the marble. It's pretty. Hi everyone, so today I'm just gonna do a quick get ready with me. I'm in Chicago right now for court. Um, so I've been doing some traveling these days. So I thought I'd make a quick video of getting ready with me to go to court. Hope you enjoy. So um, before I started, I put it on my lotion. This is the Gold Bond Healing Lotion. Um, I really like it because it's travel size and you can get it like at Target or Walgreens, wherever they sell little, little travel size things. And it's really moisturizing, works really well with my skin. It doesn't break me out. So this has been working really well when I travel. So next off, I'm gonna use this CYO Life Proof Foundation. And I'm gonna use two colors. I have a darker one and a more lighter one. I'm gonna mix both of them together. I really like this foundation. It has really good coverage and it lasts all day on my skin and it looks really smooth on my skin. Um, I really love this foundation. It's only $6 and you can find it at Walgreens. So I'm gonna put on the foundation with my beauty blender. I love this beauty blender because it has like this really big side to it, like this big flat side to it. So it just it makes things so much faster and easier it just covers a lot more and I love the look it gives I feel like this sponge unlike other sponges that I've used doesn't um, like absorb too much of the product so I really like that about the sponge too and the sponge is an elf one and um, it's only like six dollars I think I bought it at Ulta And I really like it. I feel like it still gives really good coverage. And um, it makes my skin look pretty smooth. So I'm not really satisfied yet with the, with the coverage I have. I would like to add a little bit more coverage. So this foundation also layers really well. So I'm just going to add a little more. To the areas I feel like need more coverage, which is basically everywhere. And I have a lot of um, hyperpigmentation and scarring, which sucks, but foundation, we can make it work. So, next off, I'm gonna do is concealer. I'm going to use this Flower Beauty Concealer. Um, you can get it, I think, at um, Ulta and Walmart and online. So I really like it. I'm using the, the shade Fair L1-2 and I love the coverage of this concealer as well. It's really smooth. Try to cover that and pull up. So I do that. And then just blend away. See how much coverage that gives? It's awesome. And I really like the color of it too. It's really brightens up my skin. Okay. 
So next off, I'm gonna put on some bronzer. I did not bring my favorite bronzer, I just brought a little travel size one. Um, it's by Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's almost finished. It's a little embarrassing to show, but um, I really like this bronzer when I'm traveling mostly because it's not that big and it does the job. I try to travel with at least the least makeup as possible because I just noticed that when I travel, I don't always use all my makeup. So it's pointless to have your bag more heavier because of makeup that you think you're gonna use and you just don't end up using it. So I really try to pack as little possible. Okay, so this is looking a little muddy. I'm gonna just blend it out a little with my foundation. So you see it gives like a nice shade to it. This is really good for like contour, but I use it more a little bit more like bronzer because I like to make my skin look a little bit more bronzed. Also a little trick I like to do is um, so I don't have to travel with eyeshadow palettes. I take the bronzer and I take my, also I don't travel with a bunch of brushes either. I usually just use one. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. And I just go like this and I um, put it in the bronzer. So I don't have to travel with a bunch of eyeshadows and everything. I just use my bronzer as eyeshadow and usually works really well. I just go like that, blend it in. And since it's big, it does a really good job at uh, blending this brush. So, you see? Am I done? So it just gives a really good shade to the eye because if you just put on brown eyeshadow and all I did was just throw some bronzer on and that's it. So I like to blend over here just so it doesn't look like it's too much into my eyebrows and blend a little more and then we're good. So next, I'm gonna put on some highlighter. This is Blush Gems by e.l.f. I feel like I have a lot of e.l.f. products, but they're really cheap and they're good. So this is just what I have for now. So this is this Blush Gems eyeshadow. Um, I believe it's just a highlighter, it's not an eyeshadow. So you just take that same brush Put it where I usually put on highlighter. This color is like a nice pinky color. So I don't want to say it's like blush, it's more of a highlight, but it gives some more color into my cheekbones. So I'm actually going to also put this color on my eyes. I'm just going to take my finger and just put that right there. So the eyeshadow, I mean the bronzer, looks like a shade, like a, a shadow, and this is the main color. So you see, looks like I bought, I brought an eyeshadow palette. When in reality, I just use what I was already going to bring anyways. So I really like that. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to use this little mini Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. Um, I have really dark hair, so I can get away with doing this. I know a lot of people can't. And this mascara is like almost done. It's pretty dried out. 
So what I like to do is I like to comb out my brows with it and it just gives it a little shade since there's still a little bit of color in my in the mascara. So it works well, just combing it out and getting some shade. It also takes off some of that foundation that might have gotten into your brows. I'm always looking to use like what I have and use it up instead of buying new thing that I likely don't need. It came out a little dark, so I'm just blending it out a little bit. Okay. So last, almost last, but not least, I'm gonna use this Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash, Lash Extension Mascara. It's okay, don't recommend it too much. It does um, go under my eyes a little bit throughout the day, but this is the only mascara I found when I was packing, so I just packed this one up real quick. I am in the market for an affordable, better mascara that lasts all day and is long wearing. Okay, so I finished mascara and I'm pretty much done with my makeup. This is the only thing that's left is my uh, lipstick. So I'm using this MAC lipstick. This is from a limited edition collection. Um, aquatic something collection. Um, I think it's really pretty. It has like little drops on it. It's so pretty and I love the color. So this MAC lipstick is an enchanted one. It's matte. So I picked this one because it matches. That's my outfit today. Because you just tap in. Okay. So that's the lipstick. It's like a nudie um, brownie color. And I'm wearing brown today. Or like an orangey brown today. So thought that would work for today so that's it with my makeup my hair is already straightened I'm not gonna do too much to it or I'm not gonna do anything at all to it because I didn't bring a straightener and usually when it's straight it's straight I don't really have to do too much to it um and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this um get ready with me I'm gonna go change and show you my outfit this is my complete outfit I'm wearing, um, this top is by Forever 21, and this skirt I got at Marshalls, um, it's by Ann Taylor, and my shoes are DSW, they're really cute leopard with, um, studs on them, and my finished makeup, very simple, just brownie nude lip, regular skin, bronzer or contour, highlight, and then the same for the eyes, and then that's it. Very simple and very quick. So that's today's outfit. Hope you enjoyed today's video and um, please subscribe for more videos. Bye!